Hey everybody, quite often as business owners, you would need to communicate with your customers about their invoices and payments. By integrating Zoho Billing with WhatsApp, you can efficiently do so and manage your customer relationship seamlessly. In this video, we will learn all about it. Before integrating, ensure that you have a verified Facebook Business Manager account, a WhatsApp business account and a registered business mobile number. To set up the integration, log into your Zoho Billing account. Go to Settings and click WhatsApp under Integrations and Marketplace. Here, click Connect. Agree to WhatsApp's terms and click Connect WhatsApp. You will be directed to the page where you'll need to provide the login credentials of your Facebook account. Then, click Login. If you have enabled multi-factor authentication, enter the six-digit code sent to your app. Click Get Started as you agree to the WhatsApp Business Terms of Service and the Meta Terms of Service. In the following page, all your business information such as your business portfolio, business name, business website or any profile page, your country will be auto-populated. You will not be able to edit them because your business has already been verified using this information. However, you will be able to select an existing or create a new business portfolio. You can also click Plus Add Address to include an additional address. Then click Next. In the following page, choose a WhatsApp business account and a WhatsApp business profile. If you create a new WhatsApp business profile, you will be prompted to enter the display name, choose the category your business falls into, add a description about your business if you wish, and add your business's website. The information that you add here about your business will be shown to the people on WhatsApp. Then click Next. Enter the number through which you would want to communicate with your customers and choose how you would like to verify it. For the purpose of this video, let's select an existing WhatsApp business profile. Then click Next. Go ahead and click Finish. That's it. You have successfully connected your WhatsApp business account with Zoho Billing. Zoho Billing will create a new WhatsApp channel for using the default WhatsApp number you provided. All the messages that you sent to your customers from Zoho Billing will be sent using this number. Then click Continue. In order to send messages to your customers, you will have to purchase credits. To buy credits, go to the WhatsApp integration page and click Buy Credits at the top right corner. A pop-up will appear where you can enter the number of credits, calculate the price and proceed to make the payment. Now you're all set to send messages and transactions to your customers via WhatsApp from Zoho Billing. Before you start sending WhatsApp notifications to your customers, you would need to create WhatsApp templates. For the purpose of this video, let's create a template for the Invoices module. Go to the WhatsApp integration page and click Invoices. Click Plus New Template. Enter the template name. Select the category this template falls into. Select Utility if you want to notify your customers regarding transactions or select the option Marketing if you want to notify them about promotions, offers or any additional updates about your product. Select the type of message from here. If you want to include a PDF attachment along with this message, select Attachment Message, else select Text Only Message. Type the header content if you want. You can also insert placeholders for your header content by clicking here. You can also select the language, insert the necessary placeholders and modify it. Type the photo content if you want. You can also add call to action buttons in your WhatsApp message so that your customers can easily navigate. Simply enter the button text, select the button type and enter the value. Then click Save. You have created a WhatsApp template. Note that it may take up to 24 hours for WhatsApp team to approve it. Once approved, you can use this template to send invoice details via WhatsApp to your customers. You can clone and delete them as well. Similarly, you can create templates for credit notes, payment receipts, retainer invoices, customers, quotes and payment reminders and share the respective details with them. Once you have created WhatsApp templates, you would need to enable WhatsApp for all your sales modules to share the respective transaction details with your customers. To do this, activate the toggle button next to the sales modules and the interface to send WhatsApp messages will be enabled for the modules that you activate. Next, let's see how to enable WhatsApp for your contact persons. 
To do so, go to the customer module and select the contact for whom you'd like to enable. Then click edit. Make sure you provide their mobile number while adding them. Check the box WhatsApp in communication channels and click save. That's how you enable WhatsApp for your primary contacts. Similarly, you can enable WhatsApp for your other contact persons as well. As we have created a WhatsApp template for the invoice module, we'll see how to send invoice notification to your customers via WhatsApp. Go to the sales module and click the plus icon next to invoices. Select the customer and add the item details. Scroll down and under share invoice with, you can choose to add the contact person and configure the communication channel for them. Then click save and send. Here, the contacts for which you have enabled WhatsApp under communication channels will be listed. Select the contact. Select the message template. You will also be able to create a new template and click send. The invoice details will be sent to your customers via WhatsApp. Your customers can conveniently access the invoice details directly from their mobile device and respond to them. An in-app notification will be sent when the customer communicates via WhatsApp. You can also disable the notifications by clicking the gear icon here and disabling the toggle button. You can view the status of the WhatsApp notification under comments and history of the particular invoice. From here, you will be able to navigate to WhatsApp chats as well. Alternatively, you can also go to the customer's module, select the respective customer, click the WhatsApp icon here, communicate and keep track of the status under mails and messages. To track the WhatsApp status at organization level, go to reports and select WhatsApp notification under activity. Similarly, you can send notifications for quote and retainer invoices after enabling WhatsApp. You will be able to share announcements, reminders or updates to all your customers in bulk via WhatsApp. To do so, go to the customers module and select the customers for whom you want to send the message. And select WhatsApp message. Ensure that you have enabled the permissions to communicate via WhatsApp for the respective contacts in the customers module and also while creating transactions for them. Similarly, you will also be able to bulk send invoices, quotes, retain invoices to your customers via WhatsApp. When your customer has crossed the due date for payment or you want to remind your customers of the due date, you can also schedule a WhatsApp alert to remind them. To do so, go to Settings and select Workflow Actions under Automation. Click WhatsApp Alert. Note you will have to reach to our support team to enable the WhatsApp alert for you. Click at plus new WhatsApp alert at the top right corner. Enter a name for the alert. Add a description. Select the module for which you want to send this alert. Select the recipients and the message template from the drop down. Then click save. Now you can create a workflow rule specifying the days before or after their due date to send a reminder regarding their payment through WhatsApp. The WhatsApp alert that you associate here will be sent to them. You will also be able to automate payment reminders to your customers via WhatsApp for their outstanding invoices. To do so, go to Settings and click Reminders under Reminders and Notifications. Under Automated Reminders, enable the toggle button for reminders based on due date. In the pop-up that appears, go to WhatsApp tab, enable the toggle button and select the message template and click save. Similarly, you can set reminders for any number of days after the due date. A reminder for the outstanding payment will be sent. Ensure that you have enabled the permissions to communicate via WhatsApp for the respective contacts in the customer's module and also while creating transactions for them. If you have multiple users with different roles in your organization, you can grant them permission to communicate via WhatsApp to their clients. To do so, go to Settings and select Roles under Uses and Roles. Go to the respective module and click More Permissions. Then, mark the communication box. Similarly, you will have to enable communication in respective modules. Now, users with this role will be allowed to communicate through WhatsApp. Let's look at some of the other actions that can be performed in the integration. On clicking the WhatsApp icon on the home page, 
the users having access to integration settings will be able to view all the messages received to your WhatsApp business account from customers or any unknown contacts. To give access, go to Settings, click Roles under Uses and Roles. Scroll down and under Settings, enable the options to manage integration. You can use the filter option to drill down the chats from your customers or any unknown contacts. The unknown contacts can be added to your organization using the Add Contact option. You can also choose to end chat or block the number using the Block option. If at any point you want to change your WhatsApp business account, go to the WhatsApp integration page and click Configure next to WhatsApp Business. Click Change Account. You can either use the existing WhatsApp business account registered with Zoho or connect a new WhatsApp business account with Zoho. If you want to bulk enable WhatsApp for your contacts, click Update Communication Preferences. Select the default recipients and click Save. If you wish to disable the integration temporarily, click Configure and mark it as inactive. And that's a wrap for our video on the Zoho Billing WhatsApp integration. Thanks for watching.